Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Bark. Welcome back to the video. If you haven't remembered, I've done a couple mobile-based VPNs on the channel. I've done reviews of them. Uh, I talked about stuff like um, Turbo VPN, a couple different variations of the term VPN Unlimited Proxy. Um, so VPN Unlimited, Super Turbo Proxy Edition Mobile. There's just so many crappy free VPNs on the App Store that people fall for that it's honestly quite scary. Most of these apps are based in China and you can find this pretty easily just by looking at the company that is listed on the App Store and then kind of doing some digging around or looking at my videos and finding that most of the apps lead back to China. Most of the apps are just free. They do have paid plans with like more premium options, but I don't actually expect most of these companies expect people to pay for the premium options for these plans. Maybe they're hoping people do and forget to cancel and it could be one way to make revenue. However, I think the primary reason that these apps are made is to harvest data to make money from ad revenue. And that's pretty much it. And it's crazy to think how manipulative these uh, VPNs and ad blockers are on the app store because most of them have hundreds and thousands of positive reviews. Like who's reviewing these applications? I'll tell you who, it's bots and fake Indian people that are writing these reviews and probably paid by you know, fake review sites and stuff like that. So it's not ironic then that this new article comes out talking about how most of the popular VPN and ad blocking apps are secretly harvesting your data. Big surprise, right? Well, apparently a lot of these apps are owned by one company called Sensor Tower, and it's a popular analytics platform for tech developers and investors, and it has secretly been collecting data from millions of people who have installed popular VPN and ad blocking apps for Android and iOS. So most of these apps do not disclose their connection to Sensor Tower products, and overall Sensor Tower products have more than 35 million downloads. Jeez, hello! Now, since 2015, Sensor Tower has owned at least 20 Android and iOS applications. Four of these include stuff like Free and Unlimited VPN, Luna VPN, Mobile Data, and Adblock Focus. And a lot of these are pretty popular. Now, once these applications were installed, they could install, they could prompt users to install a root certificate, a small file that allows its issuer. Um, to access all traffic and data passing through the phone. Jesus Christ. The company told BuzzFeed News it only collects anonymized uses and analytics data, which is integrated into its products. Um, now, the Sensor Tower's app intelligence platform is used by developers, venture capitalists, publishers, and others to track the popularity of various apps, uses, trends, and revenue. However, you know, an Android analyst for Malwarebytes saying giving root privileges to an Android app exposes a user to significant risk. I mean, it makes sense, right? Your typical user is going to go through this and think, oh, I'm blocking ads and not really be aware of how invasive this could be. Now, the apps don't really disclose their ownership from the company censorship tower, and the owner says it's for competitive reasons. And now I've seen this in the VPN industry as well. Uh, applications like private internet access. I don't think there's some big disclosure on the website that they're owned by Cape. Um, I don't think there's some big disclosure on IP Vanishes that is owned by IGN or PC Mag. Uh, this is very common and it's. I don't think it's that unique of a problem, but I do think it is a big problem. When you consider the relationship between these types of apps and an analytics company, it makes a lot of sense, especially considering our history as a startup. Now, one of the reasons that he kind of uses to defend himself, the guy who's head of Mobile Insights, is that, oh, a lot of these applications are not even used that much anymore. They're just getting uh, sunsetted. However, in most cases, the apps were removed because of poly vi policy violations on the app store. So uh, the fact that they're not really being used anymore, well, it's only because they got caught. Applications like Luna VPN are still on the store and are being investigated by Apple. And Google is also investigating a lot of these apps as well. Now, if we want to take a look at all the applications that are under the sensor tower, um, thing. Well, only one really remains on the App Store being Luna VPN. However, this is a total list of all of them. We got stuff like free and unlimited VPN, mobile data, uh, mobile data, monitor usage compressed, Adblock Focus, Wi Fi Rocket, Luna Best VPN, Adblock Mobile, Wi Fi Cheetah, Hotspot VPN, Hotspot VPN, uh, Vaughn VPN Proxy, Wi Fi Guard. So the list goes on. So, guys, this is just yet another good reminder that you shouldn't trust random ass vpns random ass ad blockers on your app store all right guys if you want to look at good vpns to use go ahead and check out vpntierlist.com 
where I've rated almost every single VPN out there and given it a fair review score. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you again very soon.